debate on the merits of the two ideologically opposed economists, John Maynard Keynes and Friedrich Hayek. Shall we start? Yes, well, we can read Keynes with direct relevancy to our current miseries, while Hayek tells us to accept them, Keynes recommends a remedy. Keynes's prescriptions were for depressions caused by monetary policy with liquidity problems and deflation. You will find the government was right in the immediate aftermath of the crisis to lift the money supply back up. These measures serve to remedy a deficiency of liquidity. Hayek asked, if someone borrows some apples in order to buy more oranges, why should that increase employment? The Keynesians never answered that question. Hayekians don't get it. Keynes did not say, spend money, fix economy. He did say, fix demand, fix economy. Hayek is marginal and contradicts himself. Keynes is a lifelong policy man, and Hayek sucks. If Hayek is marginal, then surely the Nobel Prize for economics is marginal. Why haven't we heard about the 1920 depression? Because Keynesian depression economics was not implemented and the market fixed itself. There was no government help, in fact increasing of interest rates to 7% and the recovery only took 18 months. We've had too much monetary stimulus as a response to this crisis. Too much monetary stimulus? Yikes! What does he want? Great Depression too? I don't like Keynesian economics because it seems like the long-term, long-run equilibrium of supply and demand doesn't fucking matter. The market will always win. Keynes said print money and worry about the fucking debt later. This is fucking wrong. The government <laughs> creates the rules and they should be abolished. You can't have real capitalism without a real free market and money. They say stimulus. Where in Christ's name do they get the money from? They have to print it and the government has to monetize this debt. The reason for the depression is because our monetary system was different then. Our monetary system is so corrupt it is not even funny. You have to have a 100% free, in every way, monetary system before real free market capitalism, which we have never had. He said market failure. The authorities distorts the market by manipulating the supply of money. Keynesian is garbage. Neither the private sector nor consumer spending seems to be able to stimulate growth in the economy, but a pathological commitment to the ideology of austerity and debt reduction has done little to really stimulate growth. What will? Your answer is to borrow more. Your approach stifles growth. You're a dip and you have no answers, your economics is evil and you hate Britain. You are simple-minded and ignorant, you are a freak and you hate freedom. Fuck off, fuck you. <laughs>